Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I just created this login part of my hostel management system project. If you are not seeing my previous video, just go to description and check out the link. And when we click on login, we will move to the home page. So in this video, I'm going to design for the home page. So let's start. Let me close this. And here, first we are going to increase the size is to 1366, 768. Okay. After that, we are going to remove min, max and close button from this form. So here I'm just moving here and just need to click on it and just close it. Okay. After that, we are one by one inserting here 11 buttons. Okay. So let me place it one by one, two, three, four, five, okay, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, okay and 11 okay let me change it one by one so let me read this text and let me write manage room okay so let me first increase the size of this all button after that one by one we are going to rename it okay let me select this let me go to the properties and we are making it as bold 14 Okay, just to close this, let me change this text also. New student. Okay, after new student, we have to write here update, update and delete. Delete student. Okay, students. And after that, student fees, fees, okay. After that, student fees, all living, all the student living, student living, okay. Leave the student, sorry. Received student after leave student new employee okay after new employee update and delete employee okay employee payment employee payment after employee payment the next uh, button is for all employee working okay after that, uh, at last, leave employee. Okay. And one when we are going to insert icon for this. Okay. So manage. Uh, let me check out the name of this uh, image is room. Okay. So let me go for the room PNG image. After that, the next one is for the new student. So the PNG is new. New student. Okay. After new student, the next uh, is for the update and delete. Okay. Let me again move to here. Update, delete. Okay. And after that, let me. Next is for the fees. So student fees, let me check out the name, fees, okay, PNG image, after that all student living, let me check out the name 
all student living okay i already provided a link in description you just go and download all the images okay and after the leave restaurant leave and we are also going to use same images in this uh, employees also so here we are using new student png images also same for update we are also going to use same png image update student png image for this we are using also the piece png image okay after that all employees working for that we are using all student living png images image after that at last leaved png image okay let me close this and we are also going to increase the size or making all the button size is same so let me increase this size to same as it is okay one by one we are increasing the size of all the buttons so this one is look like the max okay one by one we are increasing the size of this all buttons let me make it as 245 245 okay let me move little bit down 249 okay 249 no we don't need a uh, okay let me increase little bit uh, more let me make it as uh, 249 not a problem every button should be equal okay so that it will look good so we also need to increase the size of this buttons also so let me increase the size of buttons okay and here we also need three more buttons okay let me insert three more buttons these buttons are used for the close log out let me read this text let me write a log out okay and after that we need another button that one is for close or uh, sorry exit exit this application and the next button we are going to use here is for the shutdown okay shut down okay and uh, let me increase the size let me make it as bold 14 okay let me make it as bold 14 okay just close this and one by one we are going to insert image in this so let me select for the logout okay this one png image after that we are going for the close close png image using this for that exit okay and for the shutdown there is a shutdown png image let me go for the shutdown you can see let me place it one by one here okay and the next button is for the logout and this one is for logout okay you can see okay little bit of uh, form get changes not a problem let me make it little bit up okay not a problem let me select this all let me move little bit up okay after that we just need to insert background image for this form before we are inserting image in the background first we need to generate an event that one is a windows windows let me move to the windows focus gain this one we just need to select generate event windows gain focus okay and in this we are going to write the code okay but first we need to insert an image in the background so for that we just need to make it as form it as straight layout to absolute layout okay after that we just in, need to insert a label here and going to the properties i am searching for the home background png image home background png images and let me place it perfectly on this form and after that we will double click on this form you can see there is a label name just remove this and save it after that we just need to uh, move little bit uh, buttons down let me select all the buttons one by one 
okay so that we will move it a little bit down and place it in the center of this uh, okay let me sorry we also selected this one let me deselect that after that you can see we will perfectly place it here okay let me make a little bit up okay you can see our fronted part has been completed so let me run it and let me show you okay you can see our fronted part where has been completed now we have to write the code for the back end okay let me close this so first we are going to write the code for the logout so just double click on this we will move to the event of that button after that we just need to write here int a equals to j option j option pan okay dot show confirm dialog okay and just write here null and after that just remove this and in double quotes we just need to write do you really want to log off log out and after that we just need to write select okay select and after that we also need to set j option pan yes or no option okay if a is equals to 0 it means that the user selected yes in that case we just need to set visible false and we are sending the new visible is our login page login okay login dot okay login dot set visible true okay and uh, after that we just need to write the codes for the exit just double click on this okay let me copy this same code here let me paste it here after that just change logout to exit okay and just remove this and here we just need to write system dot exit okay and in this we just need to write zero so exit part is also completed now we have to write the codes for the shutdown again we are moving to the event of that button okay and here we just need to write first we need to copy this same code here like for the confirmation you can say that we'll just read this after that we just need to write run time you can see this one run time we are taking a variable you can say run time just copy write as it is run time this one dot git run time okay after that try try catch blog we are going to use it here catch okay exception e okay exception sorry exception e okay after that we just need to write process process equals to runtime runtime dot exec is this one and in this we just need to write double in double quotes we just need to write set down space s t zero okay and in the catch section we just need to display the message g option pan dot show message null here and you can see our shutdown part is also completed now we just need to write the codes to the change of uh, to set the default color so for that we just need to write the code in our previously generated event form windows gain focus event we already generated this event okay in this we just need to write j button we need to select all the buttons one by one 
button one dot set for ground okay this one just delete it new button okay button and this dot get foreground okay okay this one is showing it all let me check it out okay this one is not a button just a G button okay this one and after that get foreground okay and uh, let me J button okay so this one dot set background basically here we are doing is we are resetting our previous color you can say new J button okay dot get background color okay so we just need to copy this 11 time okay and uh, we also need to change it okay let me check out the number of button we have this one is 11 number so we just need to copy this 10 more time so let me copy this one by one two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay after that we are going to change the name of this two two sorry two three three sorry three four four five five six six seven okay let me move little bit down seven eight eight nine nine after that ten ten eleven eleven okay after that we are also going to change the color okay so let me move this let me go to the write the code in this event and in this event we just need to write here let me move a little bit up and here we just need to write j button okay j button we are taking button one dot set foreground color and in this we just need to write the color name color we are just setting for the red okay after that j button one dot set background we are setting and in this we are just new color this one and in this we are just writing 255 comma 255 we are setting the as a background is white okay and we are also going to generate for the next button button 2 so let me copy this okay let me paste it here and let me make it as 2 you make it as 2 so we just uh, when we click on these two buttons then the color will be changed and so let me show you and the same way we also need to write for the all the other buttons let me click on this you can see color get changes when we click on this you can see okay the color is not getting to the previous color so let me show you it automatically get changes okay when we form when it also open a form this one this one also open a form when we close that form it automatically get a color get in the previous color okay so not need to worry about that okay so this is all about our home page part in the next video i am going to design a new jframe for this manage room part so i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you